Thank you, Aditya. Last week, I had the privilege of attending the Jitex Technology Exhibition in Dubai. We saw with our very own eyes the physics of the future. Robots that fuel our economy, artificial intelligence that define lifestyles, lifestyle equipment that redefine our very own needs, transportation that bridges societies, medical sciences that transcends bills, but not bills. I was witnessing the future right now. Future, a word that we all take for granted. This set me thinking, are we getting ourselves ready for that future? Are we educating ourselves to handle that reality? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The role of education is to build global citizens of the future who are tech savvy, mature, balanced, environmentally responsible, and spiritually evolved. Wow, that's a lot. So I propose three simple pillars to incorporate into education. And I like to call it my DDS roadmap. Digitization, decision making, and spiritual growth. First and foremostly, digitization. It's a pixelated world governed by the laws of Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, WhatsApp, Gmail. Our offices are governed by Microsoft Office, Oracle, and LinkedIn. Then why? Why are we still writing exams with pen and paper? Why can't an unwell student attend school digitally from home? Why can't a student in the US, in UK, in China digitally interact on lessons with a student in the UAE? And here's something close to my heart. Why is playing video games looked down upon when it is proven to create better surgeons, better decision makers, improve dyslexia, provide career boosts, makes us more physical, ease pain, curb cravings, reduce stress, and even slows down aging process? Wow. Now that's a high priority item right there for our next semester. On a serious note though, we really need to address a complete shift in our teaching and learning behaviors. The internet has ushered an unprecedented digitized information age. Our education systems must embrace this revolution holistically and change the science, the geography, and the chemistry of the classroom so that History records this mathematically momentous change in our social sciences. Digitization will help groom true connected global citizens. The second pillar is decision making. The objective of education is not to attain knowledge, but is about attaining wisdom. And who has the most experience, the most loving nature, and has tons of patience to guide us wisely? It's our grandparents. Wouldn't it be great if our education systems could integrate retirees to spend time with students at different levels on various issues, not subjects, but issues, and guide us wisely through our delicate teenage years? How much we can learn from years of accumulated experience versus 45 minutes of crammed note-taking? We need to redesign curriculum around threads that help us measure, express, and love ourselves. We need to remodel teachers into tutors who truly look after kids, not just teach them. We need to allow students to learn and experience governance by allowing them to set the rules for school, making it completely by the students, of the students, and for the students. We need to create avenues of self-grading, which allow students to measure their own progress. I hope we can create balanced, mature problem solvers who have the wisdom to shape a better tomorrow. And finally, spiritual growth. This world is becoming a very tense place. So our education systems must integrate, allow students to learn about, I mean, and um, so, with digitization, we're truly becoming a lonely planet with loss of physical connect between us. Schools need to build in a bit more yoga, meditation, and chatter into the daily routine. So teachers, 
instead of punishing talking in class, please cultivate it positively. Our world needs citizens who understand, love, and empathize. We must train passion along with expertise and learn about love, happiness, and about why we are here. We students need to clearly understand our role in shaping the future, our ability to make change happen and adapt to that change. Clearly, there is no single recipe for educating young people of the 21st century. My personal mantra is simple. To be connected, not just on the information highway, but in person, spending quality time with family, relatives, and friends. Always ask questions to positively challenge the accepted norms and practice martial arts to keep a balanced mind and clear out the clutter. I'd like to end by his quote made by Abraham Lincoln. He said, the dogmas of the quiet past are inadequate to the stormy present. The occasion is piled high with difficulty and we must rise with the occasion. As our case is new, so we must think anew and act anew. We must disenthrall ourselves and only then we shall create a better future. Thank you.